They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Now when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, and did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, Rabuni, which is to say, Teacher. According to the Gospel of John, the risen Jesus manifested himself first to Mary Magdalene as she was weeping near the empty tomb. In the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre, just a few steps away from the grave where the body of Jesus was laid, still venerated today as the authentic site of the resurrection as attested by history and archaeology, there is the altar that commemorates this apparition. She is sent to tell the disciples about the resurrection. She is sent, as some people have said, as an apostle to the apostles. For those of us then who celebrate the, the resurrection here in this place, it's important to remember that we too are being sent as people who are asked to proclaim the resurrection to others, even to those who are already disciples of Jesus, not just only to those who do not know about it. The destination of innumerable pilgrims for centuries, the Basilica of the Holy Sepulchre becomes the true heart of worship for all Christians during Holy Week and Easter. As Father Fergus explains, the Franciscan guardian of the holy place that the friars administer together with other Orthodox communities, this is also the time when the Basilica comes alive with truly unique liturgies, through which all Christians can enter even more deeply into the reality of the death and resurrection of Jesus as they are constantly reminded of these events and their importance. This basilica is very oftentimes called the Basilica of the Resurrection, not the Basilica of the uh, Holy Sepulchre. And so for those of, of us who are living here, proclaiming the reality of this resurrection, it's important for us to constantly remember that Jesus is alive. He's risen from the dead. He is truly present among us. For those who come here, we try to help them to remember that they have not come here to see the way things were 2,000 years ago, but rather the way things are today. That is, with the risen Lord present among us, how do we behave towards one another? Amen.